Mm. Now for the night team, there are thousands of people every year who die and go unidentified, leaving families with no answers about what happened. Now a group of volunteers is using DNA and family trees to bring closure. Team 12's Michael Doudna is shining a spotlight on some of the Valley's cold cases now solved. Right now, there are an estimated 40,000 in the U.S. who have died, but no one knows who they are. They had a life. They had a story. They are referred to as John and Jane Doe's. They deserve to have their name back. Karen Binder and other volunteers at the DNA Doe Project are doing just that. Our goal is to identify John and Jane Doe's using genetic genealogy. Genetic genealogy uses publicly sourced DNA databases to help create a family tree centered around the unidentified person. We can use uh, really, really distant matches like fifth cousins, fourth cousins, third cousins, um, really distant matches to build up family trees and make an identification that way. But putting together those puzzles can take months. So the 40 to 60 volunteers work in teams searching for the missing link to give these lost souls an identity. And there is a personal satisfaction in being able to do this type of work and help somebody out. In just the last few months, the DNA Doe Project identified two previously unidentified people. One, a woman found in downtown Phoenix in 2017 and a murder victim found on Baseline Road in 1983. You know, a lot of people assume that if a person is a John or a Jane Doe, then nobody's looking for them. And I have found that that is never true. In just four years, the project has identified more than 70 John and Jane Doe's in hope that this is just the beginning. And they deserve to be uh, recognized as a whole person that had a family and, you know, hobbies. And I think that we can give them at least part of that when we restore their name. Now, if you'd like to help out this program, you can donate. Also, if you do have one of those maybe 23andMe tests, you can actually upload it to one of those public sourcing sites, giving them more potential matches to work on in the future. Or Mesa, Michael Doudna, 12 News.